Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I know we've been out for a long time. We haven't done any videos. We've been so busy trying to get this boat done. Um, we're getting close. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, we are on to the wiring phase. So what I'm going to do is break this down in a couple different series. <clears throat> the first one today, we're going to talk about having a two battery system on your boat connected to a perco switch and how we're going to wire everything. So like I said, this is a perco switch. This is probably the most common switch right here uh, on the market. Um, it is a battery one, battery two, all or off. So with this, look at the back. There's three leads back there. They are clearly marked, not just with mine. I'm making my, sure I don't make a mistake, but this is gonna be battery one. This is your positive lead to battery one. Positive lead to battery two, to here. And this is your common. So now you might ask yourself, what does all that mean? Remember, one, two, battery one, battery two, and your common. Now I've drawn, a, drawn out a diagram here. Don't laugh at my work here, but take a look. This represents your Perco switch right here. Okay, this is the engine. So you have two leads coming off your engine. You have a hot lead and you have the ground. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna establish a common ground, which is right here. And then, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from the engine straight to the common. That's gonna be your first lead. Then we got your ground from your engine. That's gonna go all the way to the common ground, which I'll show you what the common ground is when we get done with this. Battery one is clearly labeled here. Your positive will go all the way in to your switch, lead one. So that screw head one is where it goes. Your negative for that will go to your common ground. Battery two, your positive will go all the way up here to lead two. And your negative, we're gonna jump across here. We're gonna connect both of these grounds and then we're gonna to go to the common ground here. Okay, and that will be your common ground. So we run all your grounds off of that. 